video, we are going to demonstrate how to set up uh, HTTP header based routing in the WSO2 ESP. I have already set up uh, some uh, sample uh, proxy services in here. So you can see that uh, we have two uh, the project. One is composite one and another one is uh, the ESP project. So under the proxy services, I have configured header routing uh, proxy. So in here we are basically use uh, the filter mediator for the, the header based routing. So if you click on the filter mediator you can see we have uh, several options to configure. So basically uh, the, we need to configure the content type first. For In here we have two options and I have used the source and regular expressions. And next we need to give the source. So that is the one we are going to uh, the compare with the regular expressions so for that I am using get, get property uh, the functions so inside the get property functions we need to give first the scope so since we are the comparing HTTP on the transport level uh, the, the headers so we need to give the scope as a transport and then we need to give the header name as the next property so I am giving uh, the header one as the, the header name. Then uh, we need to ex uh, we need to give the regular expression. So simply, I have given the test as the regular expression. So this is the the value we are going to compare with the source. So and uh, then we have two the conditions block then and else. So if uh, the given configurations are uh, the successfully executed then uh, the mediation flow come into the then block so inside then block uh, we have added the log mediator with the the successful log messages and for the else part we have failure log messages and finally we have added drop uh, the mediator since this is a uh, the demonstration uh, demonstration uh, this uh, the proxy is used for the demonstration purposes so one important thing is uh, the filter mediator is not uh, only the options uh, we have in the WSO2 USB for the, uh, the HTTP header based routing. So if you need more information you can refer uh, the documentation for the uh, further details. So then we need to export uh, this uh, the proxy services into the, the, the car file. So here we are the export this project into the, uh, the car file save in this desktop so then I have already started the WSO2 ESP and as a first step let's import that car file into the ESP so if you click on the car file so still it is not uploaded You can see that uh, the composite, uh, the the proxy, the car file is successfully added. So if we list down the the proxy services, you can see that header routing proxy services is there. So if we need to check the source view, so we can see inside the source view. So we are checking inside the filter mediator, get property transport header, and if then the case successfully. Else part we are printing failure message. So so next we need to execute these services so we need to for that we need to get uh, the service URL for executing I'm using a postman as the, the client so let's uh, put uh, service URL here and I'm sending this request as a get request and we need to the give actually header name and value so first I'm going to execute the success part so I'm going to use header one as the name and value is test and uh, we, we are going to execute this one okay, successfully executed okay we are expecting success message appeared in the the console and yes it is there so then let's execute the failure scenario for that we need I'm going to give the some random value here and execute this then the failure message should be appear. Yeah, as expected, failure message is there. 
okay so actually this is very simple uh, http header based route in uh, demonstration so you can extend this uh, uh, the configuration for the the complex scenarios if you need and according to your the, the requirement so hope uh, you got some idea about the the content uh, http header base uh, the routing and thanks for watching.